baby, I need you, my baby. Ángel Garza, uno de los padres de la escuela primaria de Texas, intentaba ayudar a una niña herida que gritaba en vez de abrir la puerta sin saberlo se trataba de su hija. I'm a med aide, so when I arrived on the scene, they still had kids inside. They started bringing the kids out, and I was aiding assistance. One little girl was just just covered in blood, head to toe. Like I thought she was injured. I asked her what was wrong. And she says she's okay. She was hysterical, saying that they shot her best friend, that they killed her best friend, and she's not breathing. And then she was trying to call the cops. And I asked the little girl the name, and she's <laughs> and she told me, and she said, Amory. Era Amory. Había muerto en el tiroteo mientras sostenía un celular con miedo en la escena de sangre y violencia. Aún sin la capacidad de asimilar el por qué le disparaban, ella intentó pedir ayuda al 911. Yes, I got confirmation from two of the students in her classroom that she was just trying to call the authorities. And I guess he just shot her. How do you look at this girl and shoot her? <laughs> El padre, sosteniendo una foto de la pequeña, dijo a Anderson Cooper, reportero de CNN, que los tiroteos eran el peor miedo de Amory. She, she was so scared of just strangers and things like this. Like she would lock the door when I would step out to put gas in the car. Like she, this is literally like her worst fear, and she was just trying to help everyone. Su pequeña acababa de cumplir 10 años. Su padre es asistente médico y el teléfono que utilizó la niña para llamar a emergencias lo recibió como regalo de cumpleaños. She was so sweet, Mr. Cooper. She was the sweetest little girl who did nothing wrong. She listened to her mom and dad. She always brushed her teeth. She did it. She was creative. She made things for us. She never got in trouble in school. Like, I just want to know what she did to be a victim. We had got, we just gathered a family and had a dinner. She just got her phone. She'd been wanting a phone for so long and we finally got it for her. And <laughs> she just tried to call the police. Amory era hermana mayor y ahora su pequeño hermano pregunta cada día por ella y en respuesta a sus padres solo dicen que está en el cielo. We've uh, informed him that his sister is now with with the God with the God and that and that she will no longer be with us and of course he just cried. I mean, he's three years old and it's, it's still it's just emotional for him to even process. La masacre en el Colegio de Texas es la que más víctimas registra en lo que va de 2022 y es el segundo tiroteo en un centro escolar, al menos 21 muertos y 19 de ellos niños. En Estados Unidos se puede manipular un arma a los 18, pero no se puede ingerir alcohol hasta los 21. Las víctimas eran alumnos de segundo, tercero y cuarto grado, con edades comprendidas entre los 7 y 10 años. Dos profesoras también murieron en el tiroteo en la escuela que alberga unos 500 alumnos y la mayoría de origen latinoamericano. Elizabeth Almonte, Teleuniverso al Día.